Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back to Create Date. Today we are going to take a quick look on all the products released by my favorite things for the month of July and then tomorrow I will be back creating 8 cards using most of the products. So let's start with the first stamp for today. So this is called Smitten Kitten and as you can see it features 5 different designs of kitties as well as many sentiments that are also matching dyes. It's a great stamp set to create uh, birthday cards or friendship cards for all those cat lovers in your life. And of course there is a stamp set with dogs for all those uh, dog lovers and uh, there are actually six different designs of dogs in different positions and that's a great uh, stamp set again for birthdays as well as friendship cards. And we will stay in the creatures theme again, so this is a stamp set that's called Happy Hippos and you can see three bigger hippos as well as a smaller one. A great stamp set for birthdays as there is a birthday cake, cupcakes, there are balloons, three little birdies and many many little uh, designs to create your little scenes. And of course there are uh, sentiments that are perfect for birthdays as well as friendship cards. With every MFT release it's really difficult to pick a favorite but I'm going to show you one of my top favorites for the, from this release. So this is the Jungle Gym stamp set and it features a little tiger, there is a monkey as well as a birdie and I hope you can see how fun their designs are. Uh, there are also matching dies that cut out even the biggest of the stamp sets. I'm going to put this on top so you can see and it even cuts out the inside white spaces. And there are sentiments in the stamp set such as you are my favorite person to hang out with, for my playful friend, you make life fun and many more. So that's another great stamp set for creating friendship cards. And of course you can't have a new release of stamps without the stamp with flowers. So this is called Sketchy Flowers and as you can see it features different designs of flowers and leaves. Some of them have open spaces for you to color but there are also solid stamps that you can stamp on top. There are actually lines that go around some of the stamps included just to let you know which uh, ones go together so which solid ones can stamp over the open area ones but that's uh, really too easy to tell with even without those lines and of course there are matching dies if you want to cut them out to create your own flower garden. And here is another stamp set which is great because it's full of sentiments. This is called Handwritten Happiness and as you can see it features these beautiful handwritten words. Now the, there are sentiments such as Happy Birthday or Happy Day, Party, uh, Make a Wish, Let's Celebrate. And I always like those uh, stamp sets with sentiments because you can use them again and again. They are very versatile and uh, especially since we make so many birthday cards this is perfect. And here is another stamp set full of sentiments. As you can see there are tons of sentiments here. It features this uh, huge U on top that you can combine it with many different sayings that are uh, below. So I am going to read some for you. You are beautiful, you are fantastic, you make me smile, you make me happy, you got this, here's to you, you amaze me and so many more. Now there, are, oh, there is also a U that is at the same size as the rest of uh, the sentiment so if you want you can uh, use that if you want all the sentiment to be on uh, the same size. There are also these dies that uh, came up with this release so you see U in three different uh, fonts that you can cut out and combine it with that stamp set. And now let's move on to the smaller stamp sets for today. So this cute stamp set features again that uh, little tiger so you get three different images of her as well as a little tree and three different sentiments. Now this can uh, be combined perfectly with uh, the stamp set that I showed you earlier which is called Jungle Gym. You see it's the same tiger. You can combine them together if or if you love um, the design but you don't want to get the bigger one you can just get the smaller. And this month the little girl from the Pure Innocence collection is back and this time we get two different sets for our collection. So the first one is called Happy Birthday to You and you can see the little girl just behind a huge present. And the second one it's called Happy Cake Day. She is holding a birthday cake and you can see that there are many matching sentiments for your birthday cards. 
And these were all the stamp sets that have been released for the month of July, so now let's move on and take a quick look on all the dies that have been released. So this is the die that cuts out an envelope that fits perfectly a gift card or even a business card. And that's the perfect die to create cards that can hold your gift cards. Now let's move on to another one. And that's one of those dies that I can use again and again. It fits perfectly the sentiments inside. It comes with four different sizes and it features a fishtail on each end. And here is a die set I know you're going to love. This is called Fringed Scallop Borders. You see there are fringed borders here. And um, this can add uh, so much dimension in any card. They are perfect for birthday cards and celebration cards. One of them is completely straight, while the other one has a slight curve to it, which makes it perfect for creating banners for your birthday cards. And if you love shaker cards, I know you will love this one. This is called Balloon Shaker Window and Frame. You see that it cuts out a balloon, as well as there are dies to cut out the strings, and there are dies to cut out tiny little pieces, which can be confettis, to put inside your balloon. Of course, you can use it for an Easter card. As you can see, if you turn it on the other side, you get an Easter egg. Now, this is another uh, die set which uh, is full of numbers and as you can see there are plenty of each number so that you can cut them out by passing it through your die cutting machine once and you get plenty of confetti for all your shaker cards. And these are the balloon shaker pouches. In one bag you get 10 of those. It, has, uh, it matches perfectly the die so when you cut out a window with the die then you can place that pouch on that window it matches perfectly inside and it can nest your confetti i'm going to show you how you can use those plastic pouches tomorrow and actually my favorite things has uh, many different shapes of these pouches for all your shaker card needs now i'm going to show you another die this is a tiny little one that cuts out a heart balloon and also it cuts out the string for the heart you can use it as it is but you can also use the negative space to create another shaker card and you will get this die for free if you spend $60 on the MFT Stamps website. Now here is another die. This is a ring that says Happy Birthday all around. You can use it as it is, as a focal point on your cards. Or you can uh, create a shaker card out of it and use this ring to finish off beautifully your window. And here are two stars, a shaker window and a frame. They are great for creating shaker cards again and you can use your confetti inside. There are also um, pouches like the plastic ones that I showed you earlier for the balloon. This is uh, star shaped and it uh, fits perfectly inside that window. Of course, just because this is called um, Shaker Star, it doesn't mean that you have to use it only for shaker cards. A star is very versatile and you can use it for pretty much any occasion. And here is my favorite die from all the dies released for this month. This cuts out the word celebrate in a beautiful handwritten font and I know I will be using this again and again. I love ties that cut out words because I can cut them out and stick them on top of my cards. And uh, here's another one that says thanks in a big uh, bold font that I know I will be using a lot as well. Definitely a must have. And the last but not least uh, die for this release is called Celebrate Speech Bubble. You see that it's a speech bubble that cuts out the word celebrate inside. You can use it as it is or you can use the negative space to create shaker cards. This is such a fun die and I can think of so many different ways to use it. Now let's move on to the stencil for this month and uh, this has a scalloped edge all around. It's called mini cloud edges and you can use it to create clouds for your background. And actually last month there was this stencil which was again cloud edges but a little bigger ones. This was really popular and it sold out quickly so if you didn't have a chance to get that stencil now is the time to get the mini one and if you have them both you can always combine them to create your backgrounds. And finally I'm going to show you the two paper pads from this release. These are 6x6 paper pads. I'm going to open them up so you can see the designs. And uh, you get actually 12 different colors and uh, two papers from each color. One features uh, tiny little polka dots 
in those pastel beautiful colors. I think they are really versatile and uh, I am going to use those pads a lot. And the other one has the exact same colors but with stripes. So you get 24 different papers, two of each color, and uh, they are not double-sided as you can see, which is great since you don't have to fight with yourself on which side you need to use. So this was the release by my favorite things for the month of July, another adorable release just like every month. Now I am going to see you tomorrow where I will be putting most of these supplies into use while creating 8 cards. Thank you all for watching and see you all tomorrow.